Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's Monday the 16th of January, we've got some new mods and we've got some updates. I'm away at the moment but I'm still going to be making videos, hopefully. My upload speed isn't great where I am, so although I'm making this on the 16th, hopefully it will post, but it may not be till the morning of the 17th. Hopefully it will post. Um, updates then. The map Forstinning by Zares Holtz Velten has had an update. That does require a new save game. It's quite extensive what's been done on that. Uh, it's quite a long list on the change log. I mean, looking at it, I'm not saying it's almost a completely new map, but there's a whole load of stuff on there. Um, the Metro Pack by Nico Pixies and Nico Do55. The 114G and 124G series by Nasif Modding, Eric Isaac and Agro Mods and AJ3D. The Straw Bale Semi Trailer by Calaroga Modding Design. The Shelter Marker Siva 720 by uh, Nichols, is it? And the Building for Colony by Arajo G Play have all had updates in front of me then. We have got the Valtra Agco 1200kg weight this is by andrea andrea it is 1.09 megabytes download two slots on console fairly straightforward there's not a lot on this one actually a couple of options if we go to weights out on the very end there 1200 kilogram weight you have a 600 kilo or 1200 we have bracket one or bracket two those are the options and it works as a weight as you would expect. Fairly straightforward. The Veltra Agco 1200 kilogram by Andrea. On the back, we have got this. This is the Vogel Newt Farmer M850. This is by QWERTY PL 4.59 megabytes download, three slots on console, 1.6 meters wide. You'll find this under plows. Only nine grand, 80 horsepower required. Uh, slot count comes down to one. We've got the option of a wheel on the back, yes or no. Additional stickers, you can have stickers all over the, uh, the backs of each section if you want. Uh, main color changes the frame at the top to anything on that palette. And then design color does the front of the blades so we've got a few different reds, so we do those, or if we move on to silvers, but this one on the end is the one I kind of went for. Imagine in having had it for a while and all the paint's worn off and it's uh, nice and shiny, can look like that. 1.6 metre. Let's start this up. Spin it around. We have got the uh, ability with most ploughs, as you do, uh, to create fields if you want to. I don't think this one rotates. Pop it down, and away we go. Nice and straightforward. Nice animation. If you want to extend fields, create your own. Turn that on, drop it down, and you can create fields too. Like I said, fairly straightforward. Call oh, that's struggling actually to get off there. There we go. So that's the Vogel Loot Farmer M850 by QWERTY PL. Moving on from there, we've got this. This is the Liquid Manure Production by FSPT. 3.26 megabytes download, 10 slots on console, 20,000 to buy. If you don't have enough animals yet, or you haven't got animals at all, and you want to be doing some uh, slurry spreading, you don't necessarily want to buy some, you might have other products available, you can get this and you can make your own. Around this side, we've got our unload point, so for putting into it for the production is done here. This will take wood chips, it will take water, and it will take straw. 400,000 litres of each is what it will take. Here is where you'll be able to take your slurry out when it's done. And here's your managed production point. If we click on there. 1,440 cycles per month with 1,000 of wood chip, 1,000 of water, and 500 of straw. Gives you 1,000 out. So you are going to get less return on it but you are getting slurry which is worth more than well depends what map you're on the individual components if i turn that on now we should there we go straight up to 17 at 1440 and that recipe 1000 1500 
it's not going to take long to get a fair amount of slurry going on there. Um, you'll find this under build mode, productions, factories, out in the very end there. Like I said, 20 grand. Slot count will come down from 10 to 1. Slurry production. Awesome. By FSPT. Next, we've got this. Uh, this. This is the old farmhouse. This is by Barney, 14.59 megabytes download, 25 slots on console, also 20 grand to buy. Loads of detail on this one. You can't go inside the building, but we do have a sleep trigger at the front there, and we do have our wardrobe trigger around to the side. You'll find that in the build mode and farmhouses. It's not too big either. I mean, slot count 24 is not horrendous, really, when you think of the level of detail on there. I'm running 20 grand. It's not bad, that. So, like I said, build mode. And farmhouses. Uh, second one in there. Slot count comes down to one. A house for your farm. Lovely. That's by Barney. Which brings me on to the last of the mods for today. And it's this. This is the Steiger ST Series 3. This is by, I was say, Balog. I think it's Balog 2003. 17 slots, 19 megabytes download. We do also have with it the Steiger, but we do have this front tank. This is for liquid fertilizer or herbicide, 600 litre. And we do have a dozer blade as well. The Pink, Pan Pink Panther version or the Spirit of 76 are available with a few different options on engine sizes and wheels and things like that. It's not too expensive either. I think the maximum horsepower is 350. I'm pretty sure the Spirit 76 goes up to 350 horsepower. If you get the Pink Panther version, it's 300 and... I'll say 310, might be 319. But we are going to double check, of course, and then we'll switch one on and get it running and, you know, all that lovely stuff. So, if we go to vehicles under large tractors, right on the end, 80 grand for the base model which starts at 220 horsepower. So even if you bought just the base model for 80 grand, that's not too bad, 220 horsepower. So under configuration, we've got original green, we've got Spirit of 76, and we've got Pink Panther. Now, if you go for original green or Spirit of 76, below each one, you have got engine setup, and you can change the horsepower under engine setup. If you go for the Pink Panther, that disappears. Oh, 310. So with the Pink Panther version, you've only got 310 horsepower. Say only 310. That's still 80 grand, 310 horsepower. If we go back to original green then, so with engine setup, 220 horsepower, 225, 250, 250 again, changes the configurations in the engine bay as well. 270, 280, 310, 320, 325, 350, oh no, it's in this as well, 350 horsepower, so we can go to 350. Spirit of 76 has the same options under engine configuration, goes up to 350 horsepower. There we go, let's go back to that then. So, wheel brand, we've got Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, PKT, Nokian, Fredestein, and back. Under Trelleborg, we have got those, Michelin, I like the way it says twin wheels, twin wheels two. That's actually triples, isn't it? But anyway, yeah, twin wheels two. Continental. BKT. Nokian. Friedrichstein. And then back. If we go around to the back, it's going to be quite difficult to see, but we've got some different axle options here. I'm no axle expert, but you can change the axles on there if you wish. Could be to do with the slip diff and stuff, I don't, I'm not too sure. Like I say, I've never really come across that as an option before. We've got the option of beacon light, yes or no. Attaches on the back, you've got a standard hitch or a three-point link. Three point only adds 1,500 on, which is pretty cool. Uh, front loader attacher. Now, there is a front loader attacher, but this is the option it gives you. So we've got no dozer blade. Like I said, there is a dozer blade, we'll have a look at it in a minute. Front attacher, so you've just got a normal trailer hitch attacher, or mounted fertilizer adapter, and that's what the tanks will attach to. Back to no. 
And I think that's it for the options on that. It's not a license plate option, is it? I don't think so. Why won't let me do that bottom one? No. Uh, so, Spirit of 76, I'm pretty sure the options are the same on this as well. I'm pretty sure it is. I've been through a couple of times. Yeah, yeah tie, tie choice all the same. It's just the colour, the difference, and depending on what engine you decide to go for. Uh, same with the beacon light. Same with the attacher, three-point or standard. Same price as well. Same with the front or attacher, dozer blade, front attacher, mount of, mount, mounted fertilizer adapter. And then we go back up and then there's the uh, pink panther option. Doesn't have an option to change anything else uh, with regard to engine size. 310 horsepower, as I've already said. But tyre cho tire choices, choptions, choices and options, whichever word you want to go for, um, are all exactly the same. So, we come out of there, go to our tools, and down to sprayers. That's where you find the tanks. Like I said, 600 litres. Slot count on those. The tanks, one slot anyway. We can change the main colour. Now, interestingly, the main colour for this on the framework, apart from the green there and that blue, which might match up with the Spirit of 76, it's an interesting colour palette. I suppose the red does a little bit, but there's not a pink option on there for the pink panther. But anyway, regardless of that, uh, so you can change the colour on there. And then the dozer blade you'll find on the levellers. Where's that? There we go. And this one, we can have original green, spirit of 76, pink or black. And back again. So, let's jump into the spirit of 76 to start it up. Horn, lights, I didn't go for a beacon on this one. Standard attached on the back, not a three-point link. That was, that was my choice. There's no doors or windows or anything that open. Now, if we drive forward, this was a little bit tricky to line this up first time, but we should be right. There we go. There you go, your tanks. So then whatever you're pulling behind, if you're spraying herbicide or liquid fertilizer, you've got an extra tank on there. Fifteen mile an hour or sixteen as you saw is the top speed of it. Oh we've got that slight tilt as well that way. That's quite cool. Nice animations in the cab. So that's that one, turn the lights off. And then the pink panther. I went for the triples with the dozer blade. Uh, this one, I think I went for a beacon on top, beacon on top, and a three-point link on the back. Let's hop in. Horns the same. Lights, beacon. We'll drive forward to the dozer blade. The dozer blade only goes up or down. There's no left or right twist on it or anything like that. We can raise and lower it. If you're, I mean, moving logs or anything, really, whatever you want to push with it. Assuming it will do snow as well, there's no reason why not. Actually, did it show under levelers? I suppose you could use it on a silage clamp, that's why it's under levelers. With a bit old big old tractor, no, it doesn't say, does it? Four meters wide though. Yep, yeah, definitely no twist side to side. Nice mod, nice options on engine. I suppose the only downside is a little bit slow, but in all honesty, for the horsepower you get, make a lovely addition to any farm. Turn the engine off, and that's it for the mods for Monday the 16th of January. It's always nice when it's quite straightforward and nothing goes horribly wrong on it. Um, I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.